Hi, my name's Darren. Welcome back to the channel. So I've had a request for people asking us how much the actual tireless charge in the UK, in the rest of the world. Um, and this is a really important question because like sort of a lot of people that come training with myself really go on to like sort of open up their own tiling business. So if it's somebody that, that like yourself that maybe is interested in um, learning to tile to like actually make money from this, um, this is going to be a great video for you because it gives you an idea of how sort of how much your potential earnings can be. So in the UK, Thailand is really like sort of charged by the day or by the square metre. Uh, in the USA, it tends to be like sort of per square foot, but it's the same sort of pro rata. It's like sort of whatever you do on a measurement scale. So if I measure a bathroom out or I measure a floor out in metres, so hypothetically if that floor was three metres long, and it was four meters wide, that total area would be three times four, which would be 12 square meters. So therefore, how we would charge the tiler, we would have a set rate per meterage fit in that meter. So you just multiply it by 12 in that case, and that would give the total price for that job. So in USA, it would be exactly the same thing. You'd measure up in probably square feet, and then whatever you're charging per foot is multiplied by that area, and then that gives the customer the, the price of how much they would be getting billed for. So in the UK, generally like sort of ranging from Scotland right the way down to um, sort of Devon, Cornwall, right on the southern sort of tips of the coast in Ireland, Wales, generally the, the range of prices per square meter is on average about 35 pounds per square meter. So therefore, if I went back to that um, example of what I said, a 12 square meter kitchen floor would be, if I multiply 12 by 35, whatever that price coming at, it would be the price of like how much I would charge. So even that come to like sort of 420 pounds or 450 pounds or 500 pounds, if I could do that job in a day, that would be the rate of pay I would be like sort of getting for that. So we'll have two ways of char charging. We either have a day rate or we'll have the metered rate. So generally how you charge is whatever is greater in, in your favor. So if it was gonna be a day rate, a normal tiler would charge roughly between 200 and 300 pounds per day. Um, so what, what that means is if the meterage rate didn't come up to like sort of say 250 pounds, what I would do is I would change the price and structure straight into a day's work, bill at £250 per day. So for an example of that would be if I was doing a, a, a kitchen splashback and there was only five square metres of tile to be done on that, but the five square metres had to be cut around sort of cooker hoods and sockets and return walls and windows. If that was going to take me a day to do, well, I've got two choices. I could charge five metres a 35 pound a meter, but that would only equate to 175 pounds. So therefore what I would do is I would be going on the day rate on that job and I would be saying this job is going to be 250 pounds because again, that's my minimum rate that I'll be charging for a day's work. So therefore 250 pounds would be the price for that particular job. Because like I said, the meter rate didn't come up to that. But on the next day, if I went to do a quote or an estimate on a conservatory floor and that was say 10 square meters if i'm charging 35 pound per square meter well obviously that would be 350 pounds so what i would do is that particular job there i wouldn't charge a day rate i would charge the meter rate so therefore i would go in there with a 350 pound because i'm actually fitting that volume of tiles in the work appertaining to that would be based on the meter so it's exactly the same in the USA. So um, I'm, I think it's somewhere about the $100 a meter that it goes on. Um, and some people charge, and some states charge by the square foot, some states charge by the meter. But if it was say $100 a meter, it'd be exactly the same principles. You would have a set day rate of what you would charge. Um, and then you work out like sort of whether the metered rate of fitting was more than that day rate in which we are going to charge that way. So UK, USA, it's pretty much the same 
idea. So we we'll have like sort of a few jobs that we can do. So if it's just straightforward tiling jobs, it goes back to what I just said, by the day or by the meter. But then I could be doing a bathroom situation like this. So a bathroom situation, it would be more involved in this because this would be a full bathroom remodel. So the prices on this would be totally different to just a straightforward 35 pound a meter because I then I would have to be factoring like sort of the prices for the sanitary way, dealing with that, taking it out, putting it back in there, replacing tubs, um, shower cubicles, shower heads. Um, you know, you have all the plumbing aspects of that. So again, here in the UK, the average small bathroom is going to be between £6,000 to say £10,000. So that is going to be factored into like what kind of suite that the customer uses. You know, do I have to do the plumbing myself? Or am I going to hire a plumber in to do that? So a breakdown of that, the plumber might charge me a thousand pound to actually do all the plumbing way. Um, the materials might be four thousand pounds for all the tiles and the bathtubs and the sanitary way. So that's five thousand. I might put a price into that customer for say eight thousand altogether, right? So that leaves me about three thousand pound in tile fitting charges. But with that, I've got to do the organisation of getting the plumber in, organising the suite delivered. So I'm making a lot more money doing a full bathroom installation than just physically just doing the tiling. But then the next stage we have would be wet rooms. So if I was doing a wet room, wet rooms in the UK range between 10 and 20,000 pounds. So again, I'm going to be charging somewhere in the region of 15,000 on average for a wet room taking them scope of them prices and um, so again I would factor in like sort of how much the plumbing charges were going to be how much the sanitary weight charges were how much the tiles were and then I just leave the labor for myself so again I might be making five thousand pounds on a wet room three thousand pounds on a bathroom suite uh, installation and then the rest would be just back to like straightforward wall and floor tiling um, if that's all I was doing like kitchen floor or you know, kitchen, utility, backsplash, whatever. So hope this gives you some kind of idea. Obviously there's a lot more involved in this, but just as a quick video, it was a question that came in on one of the comments to you the other day um, about like how, how to charge if you're gonna go down a route of, of doing some town work for a paid customer. So like I say, don't forget, like so you can put any comments um, about these prices in there where you think the high, low, what uh, Tyler charged you to do a job. You know, it's always gonna be interesting for people to like sort of know about the comments. And again, um, just hit the like, the subscribe button, hit the bell notification as usual, just for the next video coming out. And I'll catch you there. Thanks for listening.